College of Engineering at OU has a rich legacy of excellence and diversity. As a male-dominated field, women in engineering have faced many hardships and prejudices, but have always overcome them. When I was really little, I watched the movie Apollo 13. And I remember telling my mom that I wanted to be one of the people running around trying to fix the filter that broke on the lunar module and everything, and that's what I wanted to do. So as I got older, I learned about engineering and I really enjoyed math and science and so I decided that that was probably the field for me and I really wanted to do aerospace because obviously that does deal with flight so when I originally came to school I originally wanted to deal with space flight and NASA that was my kind of goal in life but as I got into my classes and learned more about planes I've really kind of sparked an interest in that area and so now I'm kind of shifted towards maybe working with military flight or testing avionics or something like that. But I've always loved aerospace. I've never wanted to do anything else. So that's how I know that it's definitely the right major for me. When I was in elementary school, I went to a math science technology magnet. So I was always kind of like forced to do math and science. And then both my parents were engineers. So, I mean, I kind of felt like it was my path. Like it was like a legacy that I was gonna have. And I got to college and I started out in computer science realized that it really wasn't my um, cup of tea and decided to look into other fields of engineering. And when I was younger, I en entered an invention convention contest and created a stamp book that um, organized stamps. So, I mean, I was kind of into the organizing process. And when I found industrial engineering, it was like right on, spot on exactly what I wanted to do. And I just fell in love. For me, the problem was that my passion was art, but I wanted to be an engineer. And it was hard picking out of so many engineering majors. I mean, what can you find art? And at the end, uh, I chose computer science because it gave me passion security. And by this, I mean, um, it gave me a, a broad open of opportunities to uh, work on a field like uh, graphic software, um, art design developer, and my art, the art, or my passion would be there at the end. When I first came to OU, I started out as a physical therapy major, which I thought uh, was exciting to me, but didn't enjoy my first class that I uh, got introduced in. So I thought back to what I enjoyed in high school, and that was my computer science class. Then I thought, so what do I enjoy? And that's hands-on, and I seemed, um, it seemed that computer engineering was a perfect mix in between the two for me to get involved in. Today, women comprise 17% of the entire college, and our goal for the upcoming school year is to increase that number to 20%. Women are not only here to receive a degree, but a more holistic educational experience. Sooner women in engineering are leaders, innovators, researchers, change agents, supporters, mentors, and so much more. Even through rugby, I've learned some skills that I can apply to college and will be able to apply in my work life. Um, I'm the smallest person on the team, and rugby is a team with pretty, pretty big players. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of running and a lot of strength training. And sometimes, you know, I've gone through practice and I'm just like, I cannot do this. Or I'm in a game and I'm running with a ball and this massive person just comes and I'm just like, oh yeah, not going to happen. But it's really taught me that even though sometimes I may think I'm going to fail and I can't do it at the time, if I keep working, keep working, keep pushing, keep pushing, I'm eventually going to do it. It's taught me really to never give up. And sports is, has always been kind of that way for me. Any sport I've played, I've always learned that perseverance is like the key to success in anything. A lot of people know me as homebody. I love my family. I can't live without them. Um, and at first it was difficult because when I tell you that we're at Sunday dinner every day at the same place, same time, and everyone's there, that's how my family is. So when I came here, I looked into the multicultural engineering program as my new family. I've always been pretty um, hard studier. I've really wanted to do well in college. And um, the different things that it's actually helped me with is scholarship and internship and research opportunities. I am really involved in the multicultural engineering program and through that they have a scholarship component that's really, you know, helped me pay for out-of-state tuition because it gets really expensive. When people find out that I am a mother and an engineering student, they always, me, they always ask me how, I, how do I do it? And I guess the first year of motherhood I didn't really know, I just 
kind of went with the flow and um but later it just came clear to me it was and the answer was that when you know your priorities and your goals it's just something you have to do and that's what i did although women are outnumbered by men in the college the quality of their education, experiences, and support during their time here is invaluable. Women in engineering are retained and graduate at a higher rate than their male counterparts on average, and also go on to pursue further education. Through my two jobs, again, I've learned really well on how to balance and how to prioritize. Um, obviously, they are my job, so I have to put aside everything else besides school in, in front of them. and. I'm tutoring coordinator, so I am in charge of about 15 to 20 tutors, and I also recruit for the college, so that's really helped me kind of branch out and be really open. I can talk to a lot of people, I can tell them a lot of information, kind of point them in the right direction, and it's really allowed me to not be so shy.